Hello guys, in this video I will show you 10 keyboard shortcuts I'm using in Linux Mint all the time and I can recommend you very much. If you are not using Linux Mint or Cinnamon, then also many shortcuts I show you today are working on your desktop too. Let's start with a very simple shortcut. I'm using it when I opened a lot of windows which are blocking my entire screen here and um, I want to get every window minimized, then I can just press super D to minimize every window I have open and then I can reopen all the windows I'm needing right now. For example, my file manager. With a very common but special shortcut you have to know and also to use under Linux. And this is if I select something and I open up my web browser, for example, I can paste this one just because I selected it with the middle mouse button or the button on the mouse wheel. Then you can paste the text wherever you want, but that also keeps memorized until you select a new thing and then you can obviously only paste the new selected one. For example, now this one. Okay. That is a very common shortcut under Linux, but I see many users which aren't beware of this cool feature and this is only working under Linux. Let us come to another shortcut and this has to do something with our desktop. For example, if I want to split my screen, you can go with the mouse, drag and drop this guy here onto the left screen here and then you have split it the one side and we can do this with the other side too. But there is a much faster way to do this which is also even more useful if you have a multi-monitor set. Because you can do this very quick with a keyboard shortcut. Hold the super or windows key and press the left arrow key in this case and now our window has moved to the left side of the screen and we can also do this with our Firefox here. I do this with the super key and the right arrow key. And here we have a split screen, sometimes much quicker than you're doing this with the mouse. In Cinnamon, we have a very cool feature. On top of this basic feature, you can now press the super key and for example, the upper arrow key and then we are fitting our window in the right upper quarter of the screen. And in the end, for example, you can press on the third window the super right arrow key and then the super key arrow down. And then we have a very cool window setup with which we can, for example, work with. Okay, let us head over to a very common feature, but I'm not seeing this keyboard shortcut used too often and this is the super E key. If you press super E, it stands for Explorer. It is basically, I guess, a Windows shortcut, but Cinnamon has also implemented it. If you press this key, then a new Explorer opens and this could be useful, I guess, in many times. So yeah, how you close a window? I guess we all know it by pressing Alt F4 or on Linux you can also press in almost every program Control Q and then you're closing the whole application. This is very cool. But let us come to another cool feature on Linux Mint Cinnamon. I guess on GNOME you can also do it maybe on other desktops too. And this is Control Alt and the arrow keys. With Control Alt arrow key right you can switch to another workspace here. Perfect. We have four workspace by default, but you can also create more workspaces with Alt F1. Here we come in the workspace overview and here with the plus button, you can create as many workspaces as you want. There are also keyboard shortcuts to move some windows on another workspace. You can, for example, move this window here with Control Shift Alt and then to a right workspace by pressing then the right arrow key and then you have moved this one to the second 
workspace here. This is very cool, but I personally do not use this feature too often, but some people are using this yeah, just by pressing Control Alt Shift and the arrow key, then you can move these windows around on the workspaces. Let's come to another feature I'm using almost every day. And this is making screenshots very, very quick. For example, if I want to screenshot something, then I can press Control Shift and the Print key. Then I can select a window by drag and drop by dragging my mouse here. And then I can release my mouse button. And then I can paste this image wherever I want. For example, in my LibreOffice Writer by just pressing Ctrl V and then we have our new screenshot right in our program. This is very useful. If you just want to make a screenshot and save it as a file, you can press Shift Print and without the Ctrl key, so to say, and then I can do another screenshot here. And then now the window opens how you want to call this screenshot or you can also then copy it to your clipboard. But it is much more faster just pressing Ctrl Shift Print if you want to paste something in, release this one and paste it somewhere. It is very, very easy and very quick. I'm using this all the time. Let us come to another feature which is very cool and many users don't even know that this exists. And this is a quick screen recording. We can do a quick screen recording by just pressing a keyboard shortcut. And this is by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift, R. Now we have a small red icon here and I can record something how I'm doing this. And if I want to end the screen recording, I'm pressing Ctrl Alt Shift R again. And then we have it in our videos section here, cinnamon, and we can play this one. It's very, very cool. And I can recommend this also to you if you want to record something very, very fast. I would say it isn't there for recording, for example, a YouTube video, but for a small GIF, blog post or forum post, this is your tool, which you can start a very, very easy. Let's head over to another shortcut I'm using, I guess every hour. <laughs> and this is the keyboard shortcut in the file manager by pressing F3. This is activating another view in my file manager. We have a right and a left view and this is very, very cool if you, for example, want to move something from a place to another place. I can, for example, name a folder my screen recordings. Just a small hint, you can rename any file by pressing F2. It is also a very common feature I'm using also very, very often. And then I can just drag and drop this one into a complete other place and yeah, I'm using this here almost every hour, I could say to you. Yeah, you can also activate this one by going to view and select extra pane. Perfect. That is for our file manager. Just another quick hint, we can create a new window in many Linux software programs by pressing the Ctrl N key. For example, the file manager is working quite good here by pressing only a Ctrl N key. On LibreOffice, this also works, for example, but also on Firefox, it is working with Ctrl N. You can create a new window. This is very cool. And then let's come to my last shortcut I wanna present you today. And this is a shortcut I'm also using quite frequently and this is suspending my computer. You can easily lock your screen by pressing Control Alt L and then our screen is locked. This is very, very cool, but you can also suspend your computer. And I would say, yeah, this is implemented by default, but apparently it is not implemented by default. I am very sad about this, but maybe it will be implemented 
I'm going to shortcuts here and select system. And here we see lock out, shut down, lock screen, suspend, hibernate, restart. And I'm going to suspend here. And then, yeah, we have a sleep key, but I don't have any sleep key on my keyboard. So I'm double clicking the second keyboard binding and press Control Alt S. And then if I press Control Alt S now on my computer, I'm going very, very quick to suspend mode. So yeah, that was the last keyboard shortcut I wanted to show you today. I hope this video was helpful for you. It would be great if you like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips in the future. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.